The other violent trend, groups of teens attacking complete strangers. Our Stephen Graves talked with the most recent victim. He was attacked last night in River North, and he's speaking up, wanting more to be done. Wanting more to be done. Well, let's, let me fix that for you. He's speaking up, wanting what used to always happen to hap before they started defunding the police to happen again. I'm getting tired of this. We want this just sudden. And it, these people don't even have any kind of like, there's no self-awareness. There's no like, yeah, I know I was, you know, protesting and talking about how these guys were victims. And now I'm realizing that like it was a reason that the laws were so strict. It was a reason that these guys were getting locked up. It wasn't just supremacy. It wasn't just racism. These guys were getting in jail for a reason. There's a reason they're always, you know, having police contact. There's a reason. I mean, if they, if they act, if they treat the police like they treated me, yeah. I mean, I can see how one of them would get shot. Yeah, I'm sorry that I did all that, but um, my bad and all the kids and senior citizens who have been killed since um, me and um, other white liberals have gone on a campaign to defund the police. Um, my condolences to the family. I wish I could take it back. It was a mistake. A lapse in judgment got caught up in the wave. Um, please forgive me. Like, I will respect that. This whole just, the, the norm needs to be done. Really? And this guy. Now to the other violent trend, groups of teens attacking complete strangers. Our Steve. <laughs> now to the other violent trend, groups of teens attacking complete strangers. <laughs> well, the reason he said the other violent trend is because carjackings are like at epidemic level like it's almost literally like if you're in Chicago and you ain't been carjacked it's like put it like this you could speed down the Dan Ryan highway Hanging out the sunroof, driving the car, the steering wheel with your feet. Screaming at the top of your lungs. And have a less chance getting pulled over than just a random person in Chicago getting carjacked. Okay? So, carjackings are through the roof of Chicago. But this right here is the other violent trend. Oh, yeah. There's one more violent trend. Murder. So, you have murder going through the roof. Carjackings going through the roof. And this other thing. Groups of teens attacking people at random, strangers. And this is not being covered. You guys should share these videos. I wish you guys would share these videos sometimes. Um, on social media, Twitter preferably, Facebook. I don't want to get you in trouble on Facebook, so... but. Share it on Twitter. You know, you can at me. At Alpha Coyote. That's my Twitter handle. Alpha Coyote. But. I'm speechless, man. 
groups of teens attacking complete strangers. Our Stephen Graves talked with the most recent victim. He was attacked last night in River North, and he's speaking up, wanting more to be done. In this incident, this man says he was right here in River North with restaurants and bars. He was just walking when people walked up from behind him, started attacking, hitting him in the face. In the hospital, they told me that I was just a lucky guy because this could be like really worse. They, they thought I had to have like surgery or something. David Osorio still had blood on his clothes this afternoon after arriving home from the hospital. He was meeting up with his friends last night around 11. He says a group of guys who looked as young as 16 attacked him near Wells and Huron. After they hit him, he says he essentially played dead on the ground, but when he got up and went inside his car, he says the group ran back. The car was locked, so they banged on the windshield. You can see the cracked glass here. But Osorio says he got away driving to Stroger Hospital. He Wait a second, man. That sounds like something out of a damn horror film, man. That sounds scary, Jack. I'm not even going to lie. Listen, I'm just a man. I'm not out here trying to play tough guy or super thug or YouTuber who won every fight and dated all the hot girls and Never took an L in life. Listen, I'm just a guy. This sounds horrifying, man. You know, especially when you know though, these young teens and you know like how lifeless and soulless and just evil a lot of them are. The ones that do this. Now, we're talking about the ones that do this, you know, because you know. The mammies would be like, Daddy, you hate you. Listen, mammy, I, we're talking about the ones who would do this. The ones who would do this, I know some of them. They're not good people. <laughs> and knowing them, knowing their, their caliber, their pedigree, this guy was in deep trouble, and he knew it, too. That's the thing about it. It's not like, oh, I mean, he might not have known it before. But once it started, he knew. He played dead. Think about this. This is downtown. We're not talking about, like, under an overpass down by the river. We're not talking about like in an alley like the young lady we covered the other day. We're talking about like restaurants and bar teeming with people. And of course, nobody's going to help. Because God forbid one of these teens, you know, gets a paper cut. Then you'll have crump out there and the podium and family, the whole family standing by the podium talking about something. He didn't do nothing. He was attacked by racists and all this. So there's really nothing you can do. Then you you ask for the police to go away because a guy died in Minneapolis. So the police are still out there doing their job remarkably, which I commend them. They're still doing their damn job. At a high level. It's just. this stretched thin man. <laughs> it's stretched thin Jack. Um, all the retirements. All the guys that quit. All the people being shifted. To these certain neighborhoods. In Chicago. They, 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 they're doing increased presence. Like that Ella French lady, this community safety team. Now they got the task force for carjackings. So this stretched thin, Jack. You're getting you you're getting the brakes beat off you on a busy street in downtown Chicago. And you gotta play dead. I like, think about that. They're kicking you and punching you. Like, you know, 
like stomp because these kids will jump on your head. They'll like run and jump on you. They'll pick stuff up, throw it on you. So you got to be like a great actor. You got to be like a method actor. Like homie had to be like, method like he had to be in it because they not just like you know what i'm saying like you being in pain or you being vulnerable in that state is nothing it doesn't have to affect you think it has buddy um nick cannon lied to you <laughs> and then he gets up after he thinks they're gone i guess limps to his car and it's they, they see him they see that he's still alive and they go back to finish him off in broad daylight downtown Chicago teeming with people bistros cafes restaurants shops And we were told these people were scared of police. Anyway, they come back to finish him off, and he locks his car door. I don't know why he didn't mow them down. Maybe he was injured, or maybe he was scared, because, you know, he maybe he's not, like, about that life. Man, I would have, man, listen, man. He should have mowed these kids down. And of course he would have got in trouble for it, but still. He should have mowed these kids down. But maybe he didn't have a chance. Maybe he panicked. Maybe he dropped his keys. Couldn't find them. It's like, oh, it's just hit the blocks. And they come back and they're beating on the car, breaking the windows. <laughs> God. Just think about this. Think about if you asked for this, though. Not like this is just something that's happened to you, a complete victim. Think about if you begged for this. If you marched and protested, like, got in cops' faces, arr, arr, shouting, it, got on your Twitter account and demanded that people join you in this. And now you have it. And it's this. He was meeting up with his friends last night around 11. He says a group of guys who looked as young as 16 attacked him near Wells and Huron. After they hit him, he says he essentially played dead on the ground. But when he got up and went inside his car, he says the group ran back. The car was locked, so they banged on the windshield. You can see the cracked glass here. But Astorio says he got away driving to Stroger Hospital. He is the latest victim after police have warned of teens randomly attacking people in downtown just this week. Even though we know that most of these kids are not going to be prosecuted because they're kids, right? And as I said, this is, for me, this is not a racial thing. This is not a political thing. We need to feel safe in Chicago. Dude. You're still going with the wokeness? Dude, we're still doing the woke thing? Wow. Man, homie, they got your eye looking like a, a clam. Like, yo, money grips I, I can't even explain what it looked like. He looks like Martin when he got beat up by Tommy Hearns in that episode of Martin. Like, my man, I had my eyes shut like that before. I got in a fight. It was a long story. I, I, I think I told the story before, but and I lost vision, like permanent, like not, not not permanent vision, but it's like foggy when I look just out of, out of my right eye. But yeah, man.
you can. That's a mean when I've been there. I've been where he's at. Not all the other stuff, but that right there, I've, I've been there. I've been there. When your eyes shut like that. Tender, too. Like somebody could blow on that joint. You feel like they sticking pins in it. Like no joint of a fly land on his eye. He going, ah! Listen, Jack, and you still going with the wokeness. These people are hopeless, man. So that means it's going to get worse. This means that it's going to get worse for them. They're not like, all right, stops here. All right, it's got bad. Stop here. Push back the other way. They're still going with the woke. They're, what? Like, and listen, all of us that are up in age, I, I think most of us are in our 30s and 40s here, we know it can't get worse. <laughs> Anything can get worse. Okay? So this is going to get worse. Even though we know that most of these kids are not going to be prosecuted because they're kids. Right. And as I said, this is for me, this is not a racial thing. This is not a political thing. We need to feel safe in Chicago. Osorio is now trying to find surveillance video to shed light on this incident. As you saw there, he has that swollen eye, some fracture bones in his face, medical bills. The 29 year old says he does not have insurance. Reporting in River North, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. And despite all those injuries, Chicago police are calling this an attempted carjacking. Malasorio is now calling on the mayor's office to do something about this trend in attacks. We reached out for comment, but have not heard back. Okay, so calling it an attempted carjacking allows them to keep their crime numbers low. Now, this is not, I don't, listen, if you're the police chief in a city that's defunded their police, that's basically neutered their police, castigated them, Basically made them the laughing stock. The mayor has vilified them. They're getting shot every day by thugs. And you still have a job to do. You still have to bring crime down. And if you can find a in every case that you can relabel as something less like this was a brutal horrific attack this was a this was a assault this is attempted murder this was battery this was a lot of stuff and attempted carjacking is the last thing it was but think about it you can call this an attempted carjacking your crime stats are lower because you don't have to call it all everything what it was. And um, police departments do this. They've done this for years. This is something that they always do. And you hear, well, crime's down. And you're like, wait a second. I still can't walk to the corner store at night. Well, yeah, this is how crime gets down. They reclassify stuff. They call what we just witnessed this man tell us. An attempted carjacking. Not a carjacking. An attempted carjacking. So even if these kids get caught, they'll just be charged with attempted carjacking. Which they'll be out the next day. They'll go to court. And they'll get thrown out. They'll never do a day in jail over this. But if it was called what it really was, was... um. Like a, a attempted murder, battery of um, first degree battery, felony assault. And a assortment of other things that it, they could call it. 
But this is where we're at. I mean, look, these guys got a job to do. Crime is at an all-time high. Crime is at an all-time high. And the police departments are being, look, they need, they, these people need jobs. They have demands. They have people. Why isn't crime going down? Okay, well, crime is going down. Let's just look at the numbers. There were only such and such assaults in Chicago this week. Norelli was probably twice as many, but they reclassified half of them. 